Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Tews here, and welcome to part 18 of the Frozen Awards 2024 Most Underrated. Uh, so yeah, now we've reached the bigger part of uh, the the Frozen Awards. Uh, I've gotten uh, the aspects out of the way, uh, the uh, the performances, uh, the the writing, and the technical aspects. But now we're getting into the more general ones, uh, like. You know, with this, the best uh, animated slash live action feature, which this year is spoiler alert, yeah, it's going to be live action. Uh, well, we still got the directing for another aspect award, and of course, best and worst picture. So, but yeah, now for this one, uh, yeah, we're looking into a unique award. Uh, yeah, this is a category where I award uh, the movie that either get that I think deserves a uh, far more love. Uh, either you know they they bombed at the box office they don't get to uh, talk about that much uh, or they're just uh, flat out hated uh, hated uh, yeah so yeah these movies are are pretty much the ones that uh, yeah so this award category goes to the movie that i think uh deserves the the, the most love look so yeah without further ado here are the nominees for most underrated Ant Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, The Marvels, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1, Shazam Fury of the Gods, Wish. And the award for most underrated goes to Da Wish. Yeah, once again, another award win for Wish. Uh, I mean, seriously, I still think it's crazy, dude. It, it, it's crazy to see this movie getting uh, obliterated by both uh, critics and audiences alike. And even Disney fans, uh, yeah, and, and people would even go as far as calling this the worst Revival Age movie. Yes, even over uh, something like a Ralph Breaks the Internet or Strange Run. Now, you already know my thoughts on the movie itself. Uh, I'll save more of my thoughts for... Uh, best picture uh but right now i just want to talk about this the fact that this movie getting hate and why i i defend it yeah as you all know wish is a movie that celebrates uh disney's uh, 100th anniversary so uh yeah i mean disney uh really uh made a a love letter to disney fans uh it's not just another disney movie this is a movie that that, that truly uh feels something special Anyone know how fans react? Yeah, some yeah, yeah. They hate this movie. This got one. This is one of the worst reviewed movies, right on the same level as Chicken Run. Heck, even Home with the Freaking Range uh, has a higher score than this. Oh, this makes me want to rant on Home with the Range uh, one of these days. Uh, yeah, especially when it's a twentieth. It's a, it recently celebrated its twentieth anniversary, and and yeah, and this. Yeah, seriously, how the hell is this the second the lowest rated the uh, like film or art made this? How the fuck is this even worse than Home of the Range? Like, seriously, like I watched this movie four times now. I actually do plan on watch rewatch this movie over and over again and never get tired of it. Not one millisecond of this movie do I see anything wrong with this movie. Not one second of of the movies are pacing uh slowing down even though i wasn't real um even though this wasn't really nominated for best film or anything kind of for a good reason and yeah i i think that people just uh yeah people only hate this movie just because it's disney like anything like it's like these people now uh have, have a checklist on uh on uh on disney movies so so if a movie has uh if a movie is uh hated uh no i mean if a Disney movie, well, is a Disney movie, automatic a negative review. Like, they'd be like, oh, it's a Disney movie, automatic negative review, automatic hate. Uh, and seriously, um, and you know what's, what makes things worse? Is that uh, the people who uh, waited for this movie on uh, Disney Plus uh, hate this more than the people who saw this one in, uh, in theaters like me. Um, and yeah, it's just really sad to see uh what uh, the the one the, the Disney one hundredth uh anniversary movie uh has you know, been through. Um, 
Yeah, um, and yeah, at least people love the Once Upon a Studio, but damn, yeah. Not even Once Upon a Studio got, got an Oscar nomination. Shame on you, Oscar, for that. And man, how I wish this movie got nominated for a uh, Best Original Song. And at least, um, and and at least Best Original Song, not even that got nominated. I mean, Flaming Hot, that, that song, I mean, like, and, and there's even one song that, that I don't, can, I can't even remember, like, I can't even remember the name of it. But yeah, that goes to, yeah, I mean, I, Yasuke is truly fucked up, the, the best uh, original song nominee, so, well, at least uh, they, they gave it to the Barbie song, which is uh, rightfully so. And yeah, just, and, and upon uh, debunking uh, the, the so-called criticisms that this movie has received, how is, how is Asha a boring protagonist? She's one of the greatest that Disney princesses ever. Like I honestly put her put her on on par with Anna and Elsa. Um, how is this movie written by AI? I mean, at this point, the people are, just don't know what's written by AI or not. The like, I I'm starting to get sick and tired of this uh AI criticism criticism thing. At this point, where I I I probably have to make a video uh um. Um, addressing the the um, addressing movies that getting accused of uh, being written by AI um, and pe- what's worse is that people say the animation is bad. What the hell? What this is the this is a Spider-Verse animation style. I mean, so when other studios uh, do sp- make a sp- use Spider-Verse animation style, uh, you praise it, but uh, you praise it, but when Disney does it, you you uh, reject it. That is a hypocritical and unfair. I mean, Puss in Boots 2, uh, Teach Me Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, uh, like, get praised uh, for its, uh, Spider-Verse animation style, uh, like, any time, you know, the people would see an animation, st- the Spider-Verse style marketed, people would be like, oh my gosh, it's a Spider-Verse animation style, yay, but when, when, when Disney does it, uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, just gonna hate it, yeah, I bet my ass, uh, yeah, the next time Dizzy does this, uh, yeah, they're not going to, um, yeah, but seriously, how the hell is the animation bad? Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. And how are their songs bad? Uh, I mean, there's n- no bad songs at all. I mean, yeah, seriously. So, I hope that people, one day people will find more appreciation for this. People will, uh, look back at, the, at this movie and realize, uh, how much of an underrated gem it is, gem it is because... So, but this is uh, without question the most underrated movie ever made uh, and I have never been more proud to call Wish uh, to give Wish the award for most underrated so that's part 80 of the Frozen Awards 2023 stay tuned for part 19 best live action feature I'll explain about the, that uh, category uh, like um, on that video bye guys